One day, Alfred was thinking about his brothers. Oh boy, if only I could see my brothers again. Are you all right, Alfred? Oh, I'm all right, really. Alfred did not want to tell anyone that he missed his brothers just yet. Oh, all right, if that's the case, I'll leave you to it. Cheers. <sighs> Alfred acted the same way when he went to Tidmouth Sheds that afternoon. Are you all right, Alfred? Y yeah, I'm fine. You don't look fine. You can tell us if something's wrong. Alfred thought for a moment, but then finally spoke. All right, I'll tell you. I have really been missing my brothers lately, as a specific brother of mine was built on this same date in 1923. I miss them all very much. What was his name? His name was 98462. You can tell us about him to make you feel better. All right, I will tell you about him. He and I were complete opposites. We constantly argued. I was always kind to others, including him, but he was rude to everyone else and thought he was the pride of the line, which might have been true, but he took it so seriously. He and another engine named 87546, who was a B-17, were the rudest engines on the NWR's fleet. If I recall correctly, he and 87546 were sent away. This was before dieselization, which means they might have been scrapped later on. How awful. If it makes you any better, all of my brothers are gone too. Thanks everyone. This made me feel much better. Always happy to help a friend in need. And all of the engines slowly drifted to sleep. Where am I? You're at Tidmouth Sheds, you idiot. Wait, what? Who said... Ah! Alfred? What happened? I... I don't know. Oh, what a night. Oi, Alfred, me hearty. What is the matter, matey? I had a strange dream, and I am trying to comprehend it. You are. I am good at this stuff. Mind telling me about it? Okay. So the dream started. I am at the old Tid the Sheds locations where me, my long-lost brother 98462, and the others live back in the 20s and the 30s. The 98462 speaks to me, and then I wake up. I don't even remember anything else. Just those details. Arr, that dream be because you miss your brother. I know. His birthday was quite recent, and I have been missing him since then. He was sent away, and I think he got scrapped. Al, you never know. About that thing till you'll figure it out for sure. Now think about that and maybe your dream will come true. Yar. Salty's words stayed in his smoke box all day long. Maybe he's right. I shouldn't jump to conclusions. For Alfred's last train, he had to get help from another diesel. What is taking him so long? The diesel soon came into view. Alfred recognized him even with his new livery. It was Jack. What are you doing here? I'm helping you with your train. What do you think I was doing, dawdling around? But you were a diesel shunter. There has been a shortage of engines ever since those two steamies disappeared. Our direct- What did you say? Two steamies. What about them? Wh what are their names? They don't have names, only numbers. They split up because of some argument, if I recall correctly. Now let's get a move on. Alfred's confidence went up even more as they set off for their train. So, what were these engines like? The fatter one was a huge egomaniac and... Wait, you look quite similar to the other one. Are you his brother? Yes, indeed. Alfred knew for sure who he was talking about, and he was really happy. We 
are finished. Thank you for helping me. I am happy to see your personality has improved since our last meeting. Indeed. After my most horrible accident, I decided to change my views. I also got a new livery because my blue reminded me of my old self. Very nice. Well, it was fun pulling the train with you, but I have to head home. Alright, hope to see you again soon. And Alfred puffed off to Tidmouth. Everyone, I had just heard wonderful news about my brother, 98462. He was not scrapped, and he is still somewhere. Sadly, no one knows where he is. Where did you hear this from? When I was delivering my evening train, Jack helped me. He told me, Jack, that spiteful git, how dare he lie to you like that? Gordon, calm down. He works at Biggestown as a shunter. He has changed. I it's all a trick. I... I Hey, this is not about your opinions on Jack. This is about 98462. He said that both 87546 and 98462 are still out there. We need to look for them. Where would you plan on looking? I don't know, but I do know that we will find them. Once everyone is done with their jobs, meet me at Natford Station. Is everyone here? Not everyone. Henry had to deliver a late goods from Napford to Barrow. This will do. Anyways, let's look for where they would be. Hmm. I wonder where this track leads to. Thomas puffs down the old rusty line. This truck is quite old. This might be where he is, driver. We'll have to wait and see. Thomas then sees a really old and abandoned signal box. This is very strange. Like it hasn't been touched since... <gasps> Thomas noticed a derelict shed through the fog. Hmm. Thomas slowly puffs towards the shed. Hello? What? What? Who said that? I should ask the same thing. I am an old friend of Sir Topham's. Are you 98462? Indeed. Why have you come this far? Your brother, Alfred, is looking for you, and another engine called 87546. So my brother still cares about me, even after I was so rude. Amazing. Can you puff out of the sheds, or do you need help? I am out of coal and water, and I am rusty for many years of sitting in this leaky old shed that used to be my home. I will pull you out in that case. Whoa! Yeah, I've seen better days. Not that, but... I found you. You will not even begin to know how happy Alfred will be when he finds this out. I will be right back. Wait! Bring me with you. I want to see his reaction to seeing me for the first time in roughly 40 years. Okay, but... I will have to go slow for this as these rails have not been used in many years. Thomas's driver then oiled 98462's side rod so that he can move easier. Onwards to Nafford. Meanwhile, the engines all met up at Natford Station again. Our only hope is Thomas now. We have looked everywhere. Except...
my... my brother. Hello, Alfred. And I'm sorry for all the times I was rude. It is okay. That is all history. I'm just glad to see you again. And I am too. I remember when I was very young and my father, Sir Richard, showed me around the railway. You were one of my favorites. We need to send you to the steam box immediately. I will give you a new coat of paint and a name that everyone can know you by. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Everyone was happy to see that 98462 was back, working on the island of Sodor. Following the recent discovery by Thomas, 98462 was sent to the works to be repaired and fully restored. As 98462 was at the works, he would think about how he would redeem himself because of his past mistakes he had made. Even though everyone forgave him, occasionally, engines would go visit him and keep him company, but that wasn't good enough for him. He needed to do a really good deed that would help him forget about his rudeness back then. He explains this to Edward, one of his colleagues back when the NWR started. One doesn't need to prove oneself. Myself and Alfred can both see that you have a better personality. After all, you did have a lot of time in that shed by oneself. I know. I still have a guilty feeling, though. Perhaps it is about the fact that 87546 is missing, too. Ah, well, you never know. I have to do it in my passenger train now. Goodbye! And Edward jumped away to tend to his train. As Edward was puffing into the shed, Duck noticed that he had the expression that he knew all too well. Edward, you look like you have something on your mind. Mind if you tell us about it? Oh, certainly. It is about 98462. He said he wants to redeem himself, even though we've all forgave him. Then he went on about how sorry he was. Then he went on about how sorry he is to 87546. We need to find him soon or he will stress about it for a while. I could always look in that old shed. Not now, Thomas. Oh, uh, sorry, Edward. So, what will we do? Go on a search party again? That might work, but we should search thoroughly in different locations than last time. It seems the old sheds were lucky since we found so many engines there, as well as 98462 in them. That seems reasonable. How about we search tomorrow, after we have done our jobs? This seems exactly like the situation with 98462, huh? Indeed it does. What are you doing here? I decided that since there is an extra berth in that shed, I would sleep here for the night and then search for 87546. But you need to be painted. You look like Dennis with that undercoat. How did you even make it out of the works? I snuck out of there. <laughs> really classic of you, 98462. Please, don't call me that anymore. So Topham Hat came to me and told me to pick a name. My name is now Reginald. Well, Reginald, it is time to go to sleep. Go ahead and get into your berth. All right. And the newly named engine went happily into the shed. The next morning, the fat controller stood in front of Reginald, looking stern but not cross. I know you were restored and all you need was a new coat of paint, but you were still at the works. You look unfinished, which is why the repaint will be done over there. And he points to the other shed. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I am happy that you're being repainted by your friend's sides. I am really happy that you were not cross. Your father would put us all in our places in a very direct way. Reginald chuckled. I guess that's why they call him <laughs> the Fat Director. And all the engines, including the Fat Controller, laughed. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I have tend to my job as Controller of the Railway. It was nice talking with you and the fat controller left. Meanwhile at Vickerstown, the engines were debating on whether Reginald should be given a chance. Aren't we really debating about this? We know that when he gets his new coat of paint, he will just be like he was before, right Colin? I don't know, Lily has a bold point.
Exactly, Adam. It was never good to hold grudges, even when someone is rude. Well, I guess you are right about that, but I still don't know about this. Trust will come with knowing him. I heard he is at Tiffany's sheds right now. After you're done with the jobs, you can go visit him. Lily, you know how to turn an argument into a simple discussion. Thanks for that. And Adam went to do his jobs. Adam? Hey, long time no see, little Adam. Don't call me that. Calm down, I was only joking. Huh? You don't usually say that. I am not the 98462 you knew in the past. I am now Reginald. Interesting. Yes, I like that name. Thank you. I thought of it myself. After seeing an engine from the big city whose driver was named Reginald, I had to name myself that. Well, after you are fully repainted, uh, I would like you to uh, visit us Wellsworth and Suttery Engines at Vickerstown Sheds. Wait, Vickerstown has sheds now? Yes, after you and that other engine left... Wait, where is that other engine anyway? I don't know. I have been pondering about the subject of him ever since I was found. I have been planning on a search party, actually. I could always join that. Since I'm giving you a second chance, I should give him that second chance, too. Well, it was nice meeting the new you, but I have to get to my shed. The other two WNS engines are waiting for me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what happened to that red engine as well. By the morning, the job was complete. The fat controller soon arrived. I heard from some of the engines that you are thinking about your friend, 87546. After your paint has dried, I will allow some engines to help you search for him, while some extra engines from the mainland fill in for you all. Thank you, sir. And actually, I have a request. Could you please call Adam from the WNS to the search party? He said he wanted to join when he visited me. Why, certainly. I will call his driver to let him know. Later, when his paint dried, Reginald wanted to visit another part of the island. He went to Crovin's Gate, where he saw some rather peculiar engines. Hello, small lot. Small? I will tell you that. Falcon! I know his type. He had never seen such an engine like us before. Reginald looked hurt, but Duke talked kindly to him. It is all right. I heard about you from Alfred. Excellent luck having Thomas save you. I am Duke and this is Falcon. I, I mean, Sir Handel. Sorry, he's used to be called Falcon. That's all right. I hope to meet more of you engines. You're all very interesting. You are the oldest? No, that would be Scarlowy. There he is now. Hello, everyone, and wait, who is that? A rude engine who called us a small lot. No, he just doesn't know about us lot yet, which is fine. Well, nice to meet you, Reginald. Scarlowy was looking at his nameplate. Is that a new nameplate? Yes, indeed. I got it today, actually. I used to be called 98462. I remember hearing about you, actually. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, I have to... <coughs> And who was that? That is Duncan, the rudest engine here. He means well, but he is arrogant at times. I see. Well, I must be off. I need to search for a friend of mine. What is his name? 87546. I think I know who you're talking about, actually. I heard he snuck off to a shed at Barrow, I think. You mean the other railway? Reginald shivered from the memory of being on the other railway with the diesels. Yes, but be careful. I will try. The engines met up for the search party. I am starting to have deja vu from when we were searching for you, Reginald. <laughs> really? Yeah. Then I notice an old track going to your line. 
That is all cool, but let's get to the point. We need to find him. Scar Louise said that he heard of, that he sleeps at Barrow somewhere, so we need to find him. All of the engines agreed to help. I think you'll be needing this, Reginald. What? Who are you? Alfred's best friend. I came to help by bringing you this just in case 87546 is off the rails. Keep it and join us. We will try and stick somewhat close together. Alright, anything to help my best friend's past colleague. The engines were soon at Barrow. Alright, Gary and Alfred, you go to the left track. Thomas, James, and Percy, go straight ahead. Edward and Duck, you go right, and me, Gordon, and Adam will look in the random sheds we see. We are in diesel territory. We need to be careful. We are two engines. What is the least that can happen? You getting scrapped. Alfred and Gary jumped, and then noticed a rusty B-17. It was 87546. Oh my goodness, it's him! There is no time to waste. We need to set him up on this crane. The workmen and the coach quickly set up cranes and put 87546 on the flatbed. What happens next? Well, that's for next time. What are you doing here? We are just taking this engine to the smelter shed. What a shame, too. 87546 knew where he was going with the situation, and he pretended to be frightened and sad. Seems legit. Hey, Splatter? I guess so. Carry on. Wait! What? The smelter shed is right next to us! They are really rescuing him! Not on my watch! Oh, boss! Hello! We just- I know! Let's quit dawdling! Oh, right. They're gaining on us! Let's puff harder! Alfred and Gary puffed as hard as they could, and eventually, they made it over the bridge. Home, here we come. No! Um, boss? I think they got away. Of course they got away! Ugh. Oh well. It is just another steam engine. We are bound to find another one that isn't needed anymore. Okay, boss. The other engines were just getting back from searching when Gary, Alfred, and 87546 came into view. Is there an engine on that flatbed? Looks like it, but it looks like it had already been scrapped. That can't be. I can see a face on the engine. That is because this is 87546. Everyone looked at the old engine in awe. When Adam returned, he was quite shocked. I, 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 hello, 87546. Hello, Adam. I was wrong about what I said back in the 30s. Just look at me now. <laughs> it's funny how karma works. Now, do not say that. None of this was your fault. You were one of the rudest engines on the island of Soda, but that does not mean that there was still potential. I talked to Sir Charles back then, and he told me that he saw potential in you two. I didn't believe him, but as I grew older, the more I understood him. I learned from Lily the other day that I should give engines like you a chance. I did that with 9846, so I, I mean, you know what I mean, original, original. And now he's a good friend of mine. I hope that we can have the same relationship. The engines were speechless. Adam had never talked like that before. He then noticed 87546 smiling at him. Thanks for saying that. My confidence is back, but not how it was back then, of course. We know. <laughs> Just then, Reginald chuffed in looking very tired. He was a bit out of it at first, but when he saw 87546 on the flatbed, he immediately gained full consciousness. 
87546? Is that you? Yes, it's me. I heard you got a new name. Yes, indeed. It feels much better to have a name that engines do not know as a root engine's number. You know, that gets me thinking. If I had a name, what should it be? I don't know. Maybe contacts or top them about it. Alright. Well, we had best get to move on. That's what I like to hear. The engines soon made it to Kerwin's Gate Works. Oh, Henry. You look... different. Yes, indeed. After a most horrid accident with the Flying Kipper, I went to Crew Works where I was built into a Black Five. I feel excellent now. 87546 was soon lifted onto the track and a shunter shunted him into the works. When you meet the other engines tomorrow, tell them that I am eternally grateful for having faith in me. Will do. So, what did you want to talk about? I don't know. Perhaps I should tell the story of how I got into this situation. Oh, sure. That subject has always fascinated me. Do tell. And this is the story he told. In the early years, the island was separated into three railways. The Wellsworth and Suttery Railway, the Soder and Mainland Railway, and the Tidmouth, Knapford, and Ellsbridge Railway, which merged into one in 1923. At the time, they only had very few engines and the business was beginning to increase, so Sir Charles had to buy two more engines. Them being express engines made their ego rise quite a bit, and they would bully other engines for being inferior in their opinions. Take Henry for example. At the time, he was completely custom built and had many issues throughout his early days. Shh. Hey! Stop the- <coughs> <coughs> Oh. Oi! Stop it, you horrid engines! Absolutely horrible! <laughs> <laughs> it is alright, Henry. Trust me. They will soon realise that their actions were not validated at all. Edward was right about you. You know, I've recovered from my egotistical views. Interesting. What about when you were sent away? Okay, so basically... The last straw was when 87546 snuck out of the shed and took a passenger train when he was shut up in the shed, already planned to be sent away for hurting passengers in a crash. You have injured so many passengers and sent one to the hospital. That's it. I am sending you away. And actually stay in the shed this time. 87546 was mortified from that news, but also glad he didn't have to share a railway with, quote, out-of-date engines. The next day, 98462 and 87546 had an argument about high ego. I can understand breaking the rules once, but twice? There's no wonder that such a dangerous engine is being sent away. I'll lay off. You literally did the same thing. I know my limits. Unlike you, when I am shut up in the shed, I stay there and listen to the rules, no matter how splendid I am. Shut up. You've done a 180 on me and completely betrayed me. What happened? Oh, don't give me that. Perhaps it is that after my crash, I have actually learned something. The fat director soon arrived. Get out of my sight, you two! I'm tired of your arguing. Yes, sir. You're just going to accept- Silence! Leave my railway immediately.
Whoa! I thought you were both in the wrong. As it turns out, 98462 had grown into a respectable engine when we were sent away. We ended up going our separate ways and recently we were finally going to be put up for scrap. He escaped and went somewhere else and I sadly couldn't since I was without a driver or fireman. Do not worry. Here we do not scrap really useful engines. Even though you two were quite rude to me, things got better. I mean, I'm one of the strongest engines on Sodor. Thanks to Sir Topham. And that is a good lesson. No matter how bad things get most of the time, things will get better. Just then, Reginald and Alfred arrived. Hello, old friend. Hello, Reginald. We need to think of a new name for you. What should it be? I think Cecil would be a nice name, don't you think? Oh, that would be splendid. Cecil it is. Excellent. Now we both have new names and new personalities. Alfred was overjoyed from being with his old friends again. This is just like the past. Minus the ego, of course. Let's start a new beginning. Think of me as a new engine. And the four old friends gazed at the sunrise, knowing that they had great friends always by their side.